Good morning everyone, welcome to my first video on YouTube, well first recorded by myself without Harry's help, related with the most important things which I bought for me as a rival. So obviously um, there is no such a thing as essential things because obviously everybody wants to buy different things. However, I would like to show you what I have decided to buy for her and maybe something might be useful for you and you will be able to have a look and buy it for yourself. So stay with me and just follow this video to see the results. Right, so the first item which we have decided to buy, guys, it's a um, next to me bed from the company called Hush in a grey colour. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed with this colour. Um, what you can do here, you can unzip the drop side and connect it to your bed. So obviously the baby can sleep next to you. Also, what you can do, you can adjust the height, which can help um, reduce the effect of colic so i think it's an absolutely amazing bed you've got a shelf at the bottom here logo and like i said before it's from the company hush and it's absolutely beautiful uh, next item is a push chair from the company called ikelboba so we have decided to buy a push chair on three in one with the isofix um car seat base um as you cannot see on this video sorry um, a car seat adapters, it contains also car um, sunshade, changing rucksack and mat as you can see and also we've got a foot warmer seat and seat liner and rain cover ideal for the weather in Newcastle because obviously it's always rain here so yeah three in one bed absolutely amazing we bought it in a dark grey colour and I think why I have decided to buy this color because obviously if it gets dirty you won't be able to see so yes I am in love in this color and with this item can't wait to rip the label off and put me up here okay what do we have here we do have a bouncer here from the company called Joel if I'm saying it correctly it holds up to 15 kilograms and seat gently rocks and bounces with the push um, or when the baby moves so it's really light what is super important it's very very easy to adjust it which is obviously really great for the parent um, I think you can adjust the height up to three different levels and what was super important for me that you can remove the whole material and obviously wash it so obviously when the baby will start eating um, uh, in the bouncer, you can easily wash the material. So I think that's great and it looks lovely. Look at that. Right, what do we have here? A play gym. It's still in the box as I have decided not to unpack uh, that just yet. And obviously we'll wait when Mia will be here at home. It's a beautiful play gym um, in the shape of the teddy bear. Obviously in a grey and white colour. It's a perfect for tummy time. So I have decided, right, I'll buy it. I found it on my friend Instagram and I literally fell in love. So I have decided, right, I need to have one as well. So yeah. It looks so beautiful. Can't wait to show you guys how it looks when I will unpack it soon. Right, here we go. We've got another two items here, which is a changing mat. Simple changing mat from Amazon, which doesn't take too much space and you can move it anywhere. So obviously if I would like to change a nappy on a sofa, on a table, in a kitchen, in a living room, I can do it straight away. And a bath. Bath was given me as a gift for my friend. Thank you, Lauren. Um, uh, she gave me this mad, great, simple, normal bath, um, which obviously I uh, will be using for Mia. Um, the great thing is that it's uh, you can obviously fold it so it doesn't take much space, which is absolutely great because, like I said before, we do have a two-bedroom apartment, which means that we don't have much space. Two simple items. Okay. Tommy Tippy Company. What do we have here? So from this company, I've decided to buy three, well, technically two items. This item was given me as a gift, which is a bin for the nappies. Thank you, Alice. I got it as a gift for my baby shower. Uh, we bought um, here a set of 12 items, including the brush, scissors, thermometers, toothbrush for the little. 
which is absolutely absolutely great you can obviously fold everything together and zip it comes in that little black box and also for the um food we bought a food warmer and sterilizer it's a set of 12 items from Tommy Tippy, and as you can see here what do we have we've got an electric sterilizer bottle and a food warmer two bibs and two insulated bottle bags which is absolutely great I unpacked this item before however I will have to do it again and obviously sterilize everything before the little will get anything um, I don't know if I mentioned before but I have decided that I will definitely breastfeed, but just in case, Tommy Tippy here um, have some bottles. So just in case, if I would be struggle with breastfeed, I've got a plan B. Okay, guys. So going forward, please excuse the mess on the left side, but I had to move all the items, which I've already shown you. I will start from the items on the left, which are all stuff for me. On the right, um, we got stuff for myself um, after the hospital, after the birth. So the first thing here, it's a travel mat. So it's a baby changing mat um, when you travel. It's really good. As you can see, you can fold it properly. So mm, <laughs> surprise, surprise, again, in a great color was given to me um, from my friend, Carolina. Thank you so much, Carolina. It's really good and we'll definitely use it as we do travel a lot. I did get some nice blankets and bamboo blankets for which i've asked as well and i do have around 20 of them and muslim cloths so i know that some babies like to sleep and um, having the muslim cloths around them so i have decided to buy some as well we do have a dummies well so whew, let me just cut your breath guys so dummies i've wasn't sure if i want dummy or not because the plan is we will not give her any dummies um but i'm not going to lie i did ask for those dummies only clearly because i would like to take some nice photos and i really like the color so please don't look at the name of the company don't tell me if they are right or wrong i have decided to buy them just to take a nice photo um and i did order the specific one for her just in case if she will be using but we'll try our best not to give her but you know how it is sometimes you might say one thing you might do another thing this is the little case um for the dummy which i bought from sheen actually all of these items which i shown you here guys are from amazon so i can add a link below if any of you will be interested and this um, silicone case it's from sheen right going forward we do have a camera here so regarding the camera i wasn't sure if i need a camera or not because we do live in a two-bedroom apartment which doesn't have the floor however sometimes when the little will be in the living room or in a bedroom and we will be in the living room will be good to check on her as you can see there is a screen again um instead of um, making this video super duper long i will add a link below as i said before all of these items or most of them are from amazon so i will add a link below if any of you would be interested to buy it okay so we do have here the thermometer so it's a non-contact thermometer from the company called brown um i've heard so many good opinions about that so i did ask as well and was given me as a gift on my baby shower again <laughs> and i did mention before that i want to breastfeed however just in case if i will have problem with my milk i bought just one box of a kendamel milk first infant milk i bought it in tesco i think for 12 pounds so it's a bargain but let's hope um hopefully i will be able to breastfeed her um something for the bottles for example bottles dummies so when we will uh, wash the bottles um it's like a portable dryer for the bottles i just need to quickly build that so i bought it from sheen as well and same as this i'm not too sure how to say it are they um pads um which you can put you can use it for yourself after the birth uh, just in case obviously if we will uh, bleed mm, or you can use it for the little 
when you change a nappy um, to put it on the uh, changing mat. So that's what I will do. I will use it for Mia. Um, regarding the changing nappies, um, if we're on this topic, I bought some packets of water wipes. I just realized I didn't bring the nappies here, but I've got around 20 packets from the different companies. I've got some from um, the company Pampers, Aldi, Sainsbury, and obviously I will, I will compare which one she likes. However, water wipes, they contain 99.9% .9 of water. Um, I've got a lot of them. However, the plan is that at home, when we'll change an nappy, I will only use organic big cotton pads and I will mix it with warm water. And when we will be outside, we'll have an emergency situation, these water wipes will be super useful. Um, again, you can find it everywhere. I bought them from Tesco, I think for two pounds for the packet of, I think, 60. Okay, another thing which we've got here, it's a milk storage bag. So just in case if I will produce a lot of milk, I will be able to storage that milk in those little bags and then obviously keep it in the freezer. As far as I remember, you can keep it in the freezer up to six months, which is absolutely amazing for me. Okay, some toys for the baby. I wasn't too sure if there was any point to show. I've got a lot of these kind of books for the baby, obviously with those specific colors um, for her. Mm, little toys for teething. Um, however, I don't know if there's any point to, to show you guys. It's just small little toys for her, which being bought from Amazon again. So yeah, most of them again being given as a gift. I really, really, really wanted this one for teething and my friend Kelly bought it on my baby shower. Thank you, Kelly. So yeah. Right, okay, what do we have here? We've got a little box with the medication for Mia. So I bought everything from Poland, from the Polish company. So if any of you will be interested, I can still send you a link because you can buy it online. The first thing is, it didn't cost 11.99 pounds <laughs> it did cost i think it will be just over two pounds yeah if you convert it slot it into into pounds anyway it's an oil made with sweet almonds which i will add to the bath for her um i have decided not to use any chemicals uh, when uh, mia will be having a bath all we gotta do um is uh, one or two drops added to the bath that's everything. So this is that little oil. Um, something for problems with the blocked nose, for example. We bought this isotonic um, water spray, nasal spray. Yes, nasal spray, if I will uh, translate into English. Nasal spray, which you can use from the day one for, for the baby. You can get it anywhere, obviously, Tesco, Boots, uh, everywhere, any any pharmacy. Like I said, it's, it's difficult for me to explain because everything is in Polish. However, I bought that for her nose and also a cream for her nose as well. Again, I will repeat myself. I can add a link um, under the video. Right, product about uh, which not many English people know. It's called Cataric Plus, so it's a nasal aspirator. So you can use it here from zero plus, um, plus zero um, moms. So basically how to use it, when the baby's got a broke nose, you just need to plug that little plug um, uh, to the um, vacuum cleaner and you can suck literally her snots baby snot to this uh, through this little pipe obviously there is no point for me to explain exactly how does it work because you can find the instruction everywhere uh, this machine costs me just around 10 pounds uh, which is absolutely great I have to admit a lot of I would say 9 out of 10 my Polish friends from Poland they are using it and they've always been telling me Natalia it's a game changer so if your baby's got a problem with a blocked nose and obviously cannot use tissues at such an early stage definitely definitely fully recommended this nasal aspirator 
okay. Another thing, um, cream for um, the sore bum. <laughs> After changing the nappy, um, I've got from the company called Lionum Care. Again, I'm sure you guys can easily find any other one in the UK for that. Mm, right okay what do we have here right so this is very controversial medication uh half of the people will tell me um don't use it half of them will say yes definitely use it um it's called octanicept this is the medication which normally we do use to get rid of um you see and i can't find an english word for that oh god I should be more prepared for this video. So obviously the the belly bottom still have this dry uh, blood um, which obviously need to come off. So obviously we need to look after that. So I just bought this spray for that and obviously using the um, cotton buds I will be cleaning her belly bottom. Um, like I said, some people told me don't use anything. Some people said, yes, use this uh, medication. So I will leave it for you guys and you will obviously make your own decision. Yeah, if you're looking for any other medication for that. Okay, so this is a little um, pillow heat, if I can call it like that. Uh, we call it in Polish termofor. Uh, z pestek wiśni w pokrowcu. So basically, yeah, I would say this is like a little pillow hit, hit which you put in a microwave and it really apparently really, really, really helps when the baby's got a bad tummy. So I have decided to buy one and surprise, surprise, in a pink color, not gray. And some vitamins. We do have a vitamin D3, which I will definitely use uh, from the day one for her and vitamin C. Okay, and now stuff for me. As you can see, there is a one medication here. It's from the company called Medela. It's a lanolin cream. It's for sore nipples. So obviously when I will breastfeed, I'm sure I will have unfortunately sore nipples. So I have decided to buy this cream. Okay, so instead of switching off the camera, let's just move this stuff and I will show you guys the rest of the items which I bought. Okay, so I bought some, uh, not very sexy, but it doesn't matter, it needs to be comfortable, um, underwear, which I will be using after the birth. I bought a four pack, they are super stretchy, but believe me or not, this is a size large. I would never think this might be a size large because normally my bum is in a size small, but I had to order size large because the sizes were very tiny. So I do have here, this little cloth from the company called Juicy Bumbles, uh, which was given by my friend and is a nursing cover. So it's a nursing cover. Obviously, when I will be breastfeeding in a public place, I can just cover myself. Well, if I would be bothered. <laughs> um, breast pads, definitely. Uh, super, super, super useful, apparently. I uh, have decided to buy. And this, I would say, um, nipples covers, covers for the nipples. When my nipples will be very sore, I have decided, right, I need to have something under my bra so it won't be that painful. And one of my friends recommended me this. So hopefully will be useful as well. And here we've got a breast pump. So breast pump, actually, this is one item which I did not buy and was given me. Uh, my sister uh, uh, let me to borrow it. Um, she was using this breast pump. It's from the company called Lovey. It's a breast pump. She, uh, she's she got it just for one breast. I really would like to have for two, but obviously didn't want to spend extra 200 pounds for the electric one. I've heard that the company called Medela, from which I've got the cream for sore nipples, apparently is really good, um, but no point to unpack everything. I'm just going to briefly explain a company called Lovey. My sister said that was an absolute game changer for her. Obviously, I just sterilize it and clean it for myself and maybe might be useful. What you can see here in the background is my suitcase. 
unfortunately now it's completely empty because i've made such a massive mess just to record these videos so i had to take everything from the suitcase which i will need as my hospital bag right guys okay let's go to the part number three and i will show you what clothes i've got for mia right clothes on the hangers um we do have here um all sleep suits so again very very plain white pink gray colorful um most of them are from uh, asda mark and spencer some of them are as well from a disney shop and ted baker um i absolutely love this one i don't know i think that's one of my favorite and obviously we do have some i love mummy and i love daddy oh just i love mummy no there is some i love my daddy as well let me just find oh yes there we are yeah so just normal plain uh slip suits obviously with building socks very simple and cute right okay guys i think that's everything so i have recorded everything i need to clean now this horrible mess because honestly i can't even see my living room i need to pack my hospital bag again and i'm literally due uh, in a week time so i need to hurry up but if you like this video remember leave the thumbs up um subscribe our channel if you haven't done it yet and wait for another video which definitely will be recorded with harry because i have to admit i am absolutely impressed how he can record these kind of videos all the time i was so struggled to record just a couple of videos i feel super comfortable and confident on tiktok however not on um youtube so yeah babe honestly i am impressed with your hard work anyway once again if you like this video hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and like i said before i hope you enjoyed the video and i wish you have a lovely day people Mwah.